Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Before we dive into the world of mobile hacking, it's crucial to understand the ethical implications. Ethical hacking is a practice that involves testing and evaluating the security of systems, networks, and applications to identify potential vulnerabilities. This proactive approach helps in safeguarding sensitive information and maintaining the integrity of digital infrastructures. Hacking in itself is not inherently bad. It is a skill set that, when used responsibly, can be a force for good. Ethical hackers leverage their expertise to protect organizations from cyber threats and ensure that their digital assets are secure. It's a powerful tool that can be used for good or evil. The distinction lies in the intent and the application of these skills. While malicious hackers, often referred to as black hat hackers, exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or to cause harm, ethical hackers work to prevent such breaches. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to identify vulnerabilities in systems and networks. They conduct thorough assessments, simulate attacks, and analyze the security posture of an organization to uncover weaknesses that could be exploited by malicious actors. They then report these vulnerabilities to the owners so they can be fixed before malicious hackers exploit them. This collaborative effort between ethical hackers and organizations is essential in fortifying defenses and mitigating risks. This is crucial in today's digital age, where our lives are increasingly intertwined with technology. From online banking to social media, our personal and professional activities are conducted through digital platforms, making cybersecurity a top priority. By learning about hacking techniques, you're not just gaining knowledge. You're equipping yourself with the ability to protect yourself and others from cyber threats. Ethical hacking education empowers individuals to understand the tactics used by cyber criminals and develop strategies to counteract them. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. As you delve into the world of ethical hacking, it's important to adhere to legal and ethical guidelines, ensuring that your actions contribute positively to the cybersecurity landscape. Use your knowledge wisely and ethically. The role of an ethical hacker is not just about finding vulnerabilities, but also about fostering a culture of security awareness and resilience. By doing so, you play a vital part in creating a safer digital environment for everyone. Have you ever wondered how hackers break into mobile phones? It's a fascinating world, full of intricate techniques and clever tricks. But before you start thinking about hacking into your friend's phone, which by the way is illegal and unethical, let me assure you that this essay is purely for educational purposes. My goal is to give you a glimpse into the mind of a hacker and show you how they operate. By understanding their methods, you can better protect yourself from becoming a victim. So buckle up and get ready for a crash course in mobile hacking for beginners. And don't forget to subscribe to Cyber World YT for more awesome content like this. Mobile hacking is exactly what it sounds like. Exploiting vulnerabilities in mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. These vulnerabilities can exist in the operating system like Android or iOS in apps or even in the hardware itself. Hackers can exploit these vulnerabilities to gain access to your personal data, such as your contacts, photos, messages, and even your financial information. They can also use your phone to make calls, send messages, or even track your location without your knowledge. Scary, right? Now let's talk about the tools of the trade. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your toolkit, Understanding the essential tools for hacking is crucial. Just like any other profession, hackers use specialized tools to help them do their job. These tools are designed to make the process of finding and exploiting vulnerabilities more efficient and effective. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you a shopping list of illegal hacking software. Instead, I'll introduce you to tools that are both powerful and legal, often used by security professionals for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Ethical hacking is all about using these tools to identify and fix security issues before they can be exploited by malicious hackers. It's a critical part of maintaining the security of any system. One such tool is Kali Linux, a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Kali Linux is a favorite among security professionals because it comes pre-installed with a wide range of tools that can be used for various hacking tasks. 
These tools range from network scanning to password cracking, making Kaylee Linux a versatile and powerful platform for any aspiring hacker. It's also regularly updated to include the latest security tools and features. Another indispensable tool is Metasploit, a powerful framework for developing and executing exploit code against a remote target machine. Metasploit is widely used for penetration testing and has a vast library of exploits and payloads. These exploits and payloads can be used to target various vulnerabilities in different operating systems and applications. Metasploit also offers a user-friendly interface and extensive documentation, making it accessible even for beginners. Another essential tool is Wireshark, a network protocol analyzer that lets you capture and interactively browse the traffic running on a computer network. It's invaluable for diagnosing network issues and understanding network protocols. Nmap, or Network Mapper, is another critical tool. It's used for network discovery and security auditing. Nmap can quickly scan large networks and provide detailed information about the devices and services running on them. Lastly, Burp Suite is a comprehensive platform for web application security testing. It includes tools for scanning, crawling, and exploiting web vulnerabilities, making it a must-have for anyone interested in web security. These tools are just the beginning. As you delve deeper into the world of ethical hacking, you'll discover many more tools and techniques that can help you secure systems and protect data. Remember, the key to becoming a successful ethical hacker is continuous learning and practice. Happy hacking! You'd be surprised how often the weakest link in a security system isn't a piece of software or hardware, but the human being using it. Despite all the advancements in technology, the human element remains the most vulnerable aspect of any security framework. This vulnerability is often exploited by cybercriminals, who understand that people can be manipulated more easily than machines. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people into giving up confidential information. It's a psychological game where the attacker uses various tactics to trick individuals into revealing sensitive data. These tactics can range from creating a sense of urgency to exploiting a person's trust in authority figures. This can be done through various means, such as phishing emails, fake websites, or even simple phone calls. Phishing emails often appear to be from legitimate sources, urging you to click on a link or download an attachment. Fake websites are designed to look like the real thing, tricking you into entering your login credentials. Even a simple phone call can be a tool for social engineering. For example, a hacker might call you posing as a representative from your bank, claiming that there's been suspicious activity on your account. They might sound very convincing using technical jargon and a sense of urgency to make you comply. The goal is to make you panic and act without thinking. They might then ask you to verify your account details, such as your account number, password, or social security number. Once they have this information, they can gain access to your accounts and cause significant damage. It's important to remember that legitimate organizations will never ask for sensitive information in this manner. The best defense against social engineering is awareness. Educating yourself and others about the tactics used by cybercriminals can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to these schemes. Regular training and updates on the latest threats can help keep you and your organization safe. Always be wary of unsolicited requests for personal information and double-check the identity of anyone who contacts you claiming to be from a legitimate organization. If something feels off, trust your instincts and verify the request through official channels. By staying vigilant and informed, you can protect yourself and your sensitive information from social engineering attacks. Free public Wi-Fi is a godsend, especially when you're on the go and need to check your email or browse the web. But did you know that these unsecured networks are a hacker's playground? Since public Wi-Fi networks often lack strong encryption, it's relatively easy for hackers to intercept the data that's being transmitted between your device and the internet. This means they could potentially gain access to your passwords, credit card information, and other sensitive data. To stay safe on public Wi-Fi, always use a VPN or virtual private network. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for hackers to intercept your data. Now that you have a basic understanding of mobile hacking and some of the common techniques used by hackers, let's talk about how you can protect yourself from becoming a victim. The good news is that there are several simple things you can do to significantly improve your mobile security. These include using strong passwords, 
enabling two-factor authentication, keeping your software up to date, and being mindful of the apps you download. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I know, I know, you've heard it a million times before, use strong passwords. But there's a good reason why this advice is repeated so often. It's crucial. A strong password is your first line of defense against hackers. It's like a lock on your front door. The stronger the lock, the harder it is for someone to break in. A strong password should be at least eight characters long and include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Avoid using common words or phrases that can be easily guessed, and don't use the same password for multiple accounts. Section 9. Two-factor authentication, double the security. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, is an extra layer of security that requires you to enter a unique code from your phone or email in addition to your password when logging into an account. This means that even if a hacker gets hold of your password, they still won't be able to access your account without also having access to your phone or email. Many online services now offer 2FA, including email providers, social media platforms, and financial institutions. Make sure to enable it whenever possible. Section 10. Keeping your software up to date. Software updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities that have been discovered in the software. Hackers are constantly looking for new vulnerabilities to exploit, so it's important to keep your software up to date to protect yourself from the latest threats. This applies to both your phone's operating system and the apps you have installed. Most smartphones and apps have automatic update features that you can enable to ensure that you're always running the latest, most secure version. Section 11, real-world examples of mobile hacking. Remember the Pegasus spyware scandal? In 2021, it was revealed that the Pegasus spyware, developed by the Israeli company NSO Group, was used to target journalists, activists, and government officials around the world. The spyware could infect a target's phone without any interaction from the user, giving the attacker access to the device's camera, microphone, messages, and location data. This case highlights the very real threat of mobile hacking and the importance of taking steps to protect yourself. Section 12. Join the Cyber World YT community. That's it for our beginner's guide to mobile hacking. I hope you found it informative and engaging. Remember, the best way to protect yourself from hackers is to stay informed about the latest threats and to take steps to secure your devices and accounts. For more awesome content on cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and everything in between, make sure to subscribe to Cyber World YT. We release new videos every week. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Stay safe and see you in the next video.